you know, what has uh, a, a tea bag and the national team of England in common? Go on, tell me. The tea bag is longer in the cup, man. <laughs> but um. Yes, guys, Pro Direct TV, and we're back again. Ned here, and I'm live in Leon. We're here just outside the fan zone ahead of tonight's massive semi final as Wales take on Portugal. Now, today, we've got coverage from three cities around the world. We've got Andrew and Lionel bringing it to you live from Lisbon, Charlie in the fan zone in Cardiff, and I'm here, obviously, in Leon ahead of tonight's big game. So we're a few hours away from kickoff here in Leon. The sun's out, the drinks are flowing. Brilliant atmosphere. Let's go see what the fans are saying. Follow me. Great to see all you YouTubers doing well. God bless you all. Um, I do, I'm going to send a message to all the YouTube viewers out there, all the England fans. Don't don't worry about it, okay? You've you, you've got you've got the Russian World Cup, and then you've got the Euros after that. But just remember, let this sink in. We've waited 58 years to get here, and we've scored more goals in one tournament than you've scored in three. Have a fantastic night, and God bless you all. Cheers, Ned. Right, so we found Carl. He's found himself chilling on the UEFA Euro 2016 sign. Now, if you watched yesterday's episode, Carl was one question away from winning the pair of boots for next season. But talk to me about today. What's the atmosphere like in the city? Electric, brilliant. Can't f I don't want to go home like the singing of the song. <laughs> we haven't got the strongest team in the Euros, not at all, but when we play together, something happens like. How did I get here? My cousin gave me a ring on a Sunday. Said you want to go to France, crack on, for my boss, say yeah, sound. So it took about 12 hours a day, yeah? The window was broke. I woke up this morning in the fiesta. Brilliant, there you go. Five hours in the fiesta and a night in the fiesta, all to see where your country playing in a semi final. Right, finally, give me a prediction for today's game. 3 1. 3 1, I say, yeah, definitely. Okay, who's going to win tonight? It's going to be 2-1 to Bales. Joe Ledley had to move his wedding for the semi-final. Chris Gunter, he's meant to be best man at his brother's wedding. He sacked that off. What would you sacrifice for Wales to be in the final? My mother's life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, love, but it's a bit, it's football. Enjoy. I'd sack off my own wedding for the final as well, I think, even if I wasn't playing. Who was meant to be at work? Who's missing an anniversary? Who's missing a wedding? Anything like that? I'm missing school. Missing school. School's not important. Semi-finals important. Welsh is one of the most beautiful countries and the best team in the world. You sound no, 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 no. the second best team in the world. We found a solitary Portuguese fan. How has the atmosphere been for you as a Portuguese fan today? It's everything I was expecting and more. Welsh fans, English fans, they are unbelievable. Every time they bring the A game to this and they make us feel like this is a semi-final of the European Cup. I just want to know where the Portuguese fans are because <laughs> Where are they? Come on. Come on. There's only one speedo. There's only one speedo. Guys, we're here in Lisbon. The weather is beautiful. We're outside the Benfica Stadium. Even Andrew's gone all out. I had to get myself a jersey, my friend. I had to, I had to. Boy, where's mine? Um. Snake! <laughs> Guys, the vibe is crazy here. It's an hour before kickoff. Big, big game for the country. You can tell everybody's coming here to watch the game. What are you saying, bro? Cause some fracas, man. Let's mingle. Let's mingle with the crowd. Who do you think is going to win tonight? Well, Portugal, of course. 2-1. Who do you think will score the two goals for Portugal? Quaresma uh -huh. and Ronaldo. Who do you think is going to come on top? Ooh, I think it's going to be Portugal. Portugal, yeah? Yeah. No one's supporting Wales here now? Well, like, yeah. if you support Wales, you're uh, pretty dead here. We found a wild Welsh fan in Portugal. I don't know what to do if we score. I don't know if I can settle. Cheer! Yeah, all right, I'm going to cheer. I think... 1-0 Wales. I think it's going to be a bit of a, not too much going on, but I think we will sneak the win. one nil. -er. Give Wales a message of encouragement. Come on, Beath! Come on, Wales! Yeah, I love that, love that. Thank you, enjoy I the game. I can't speak Welsh, but that's, that's all I've got. With his tan line. Look at him with his tan line. That's a raw time right there, boy. Oh, it's close. 
Nationals mark. Three one Wales. Good again. Great game. Two lovely goals. <laughs> you licked my mic. You licked my mic. Portugal are, on, are going to the finals. Yeah. Who, do you, who do you think they're going to play in the finals? Germany, Germany or France? Germany. 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 So who do you think Portugal will play in the final? Germany or France? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, France. France? Yeah. And what do you reckon the scores will be? So it's going to go to uh, extra time. Yeah. Not penalties, but extra time. And it's going to be um, Portugal! There we go, I'm putting that down on the bookies, yeah? Portugal are in the finals. We don't know who they're going to play, Germany or France. Who do you think? I'm going to say Germany. Okay, but either way, Lisbon is live right now. Look at everyone right now. It's a party in the streets, and we're going to go join it, right? Time to join the party. Until next time, guys. Later. Peace. And that's a wrap on another episode of Pro Direct TV. We brought you the Euro 2016 semi-final from three countries around the world. We've been live in Cardiff, we've been all the way out to Lisbon, and of course, we've been here at the game in Lyon. Thanks for watching Pro Direct TV. Make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment below. Love to hear your feedback and we'll catch you next time.